So in 2011, after the uh, major defeat of the Liberal Party, uh, with another leadership convention coming up, I thought, what, what the heck, I'm just going to get into the race. And a race, a leadership race, is the time in the life of a party when you, you re-examine the, 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 the basic fundamental tenets of a party and your philosophies and so forth. And fortunately, in this day and age with social media, with uh, you know showing up at each of the key debates and all of that, I, I, I'm happy to say I ran an extremely frugal campaign and uh, managed to uh, see a lot of the country but engage in each of the debates. And I made the case for what I called then One Canada for All Canadians, which for those that know me is very familiar. It goes right back to Meech and Charlottetown. The first uh, um, organization that we had was Canada for All Canadians. Uh, so it's the same idea was getting the, the federal government back and, and the national party back to thinking about how do we serve all Canadians and what does that mean? It means it's the coordinating role of the, the national government in, in national standards, whether it's, it's uh, health care or the environment, it's the role in supporting science and, and, and investing in, in so many things which uh, individually provinces can't do. It's taking uh, the one government that's elected by all Canadians and giving it a raison d'etre both nationally and in becoming more coherent nationally in all these areas, then you are more coherent internationally. Nationally. And of course that's always been an interest and most Canadians uh, know that, that we can play an important role in, um, uh, in, in foreign policy, but only when we're coherent, let's say, with our environment policies. Uh, uh, only then can we play a coherent role internationally. So I, t I, I had fun, of course I did not win. Um, after that I, I looked at a nomination for the Liberals, which I also did not win. Learned a lot about, uh, you know, read up about one of the aspects that's, that is the least democratic aspect of the, pro the political process and that is the nomination process and it's something that does need to be changed, needs to be opened up, needs to be much more engaging of Canadians at the grassroots level because I think uh, too many, uh, unless we engage Canadians at that level, uh, we won't really durably get people engaged more in the political process, in, in the in the entire uh, political process down to the voting at the end. And so right now, um, uh, that is something that's going to have to be looked at. It's something that was looked at even uh, by that reform committee I mentioned <laughs> 20 years ago. Uh, it's a, it, it, anyway, Anyway, I, I, um, I uh, went through that, uh, that uh, step, which was looking for a nomination. So um, earlier this year, in February, or I guess earlier in the year, I spoke to Elizabeth May. We've known each other for a few years. And uh, she needed some help uh, uh, doing some policy work. And I saw the Green Party, uh, under, especially under her leadership over the last few years, as a really refreshing choice. It's a party that's very much of the people. It's, it's not populated or, or, or dominated by elites like the other parties. It's not, you're not bumping up against a party machine. And, and uh, accordingly, uh, you, the Green Party, for example, was extremely principled right out the gate on Bill C-51, the Anti-Terrorism Act. And Elizabeth uh, uh, carried the load there from day one in Parliament, pointing out all the, the, the things that were wrong with it, why it wasn't necessary, how it overreached. Uh, and uh, when, I, when I looked at, uh, at the landscape, the political landscape earlier this year, uh, you had the Liberal Party supporting it in an entirely unprincipled way, unprincipled politics at its worst, simply because they thought it would make the look better just to have supported it so that Mr. Harper couldn't get at the Liberals for being soft on terror or something like that. And, and I mean, to me, that was just the, uh, the straw that broke the camel's back. Uh, there was absolutely no reason to do that. And as we know now, the, the polls show that Canadians were perfectly capable of coming to their own conclusions and understanding the play and, and are, are um, uh, almost uniformly opposed to Bill C-51. So that was, that was uh, why and how I ultimately ended up in the, in the Green Party.